Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Your girl Jermada here. Guys, today I want us to discuss relationship banking and how it is crucial, crucial, crucial to you building business credit and to you being able to receive a substantial amount of funding and credit for your business. Don't sleep on relationship banking, y'all. Like, it's pretty high up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it plays a significant role in whether you're going to be able to um, scale your business and get enough money to be able to run your business um, smoothly. So yeah. But before I get into that, guys, let's take a moment. Please hit the like button. Hit the like button. I don't know if, if it's over here or over here, wherever it is, guys. Hit the like button um, so that the algorithm can push the video out to other entrepreneurs and wealth builders, guys. This is a channel where we talk about all things finances. We talk about real estate on this channel. We talk about investing. We talk about business credit and we talk about personal credit, okay? I'm your girl, Jamade. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel, y'all. Let's get into real estate, I mean, um, relationship banking, okay? Um, I jotted some notes down. So when you see me looking down, I'm, I'm looking at my notes, okay? Um, how important is relationship um, banking when you are trying to grow your business, okay? Um, it allows you to expand your business. It's really important for you to be able to have um, several banks. I would suggest that you have several banks, not just one. Don't just put all your eggs in one basket, guys. Have several banks that you can go to that you have good relationships with, okay? And I would suggest that you make it a personal thing, okay? Go into the bank, guys. Open a business bank account, okay? Go into Navy Federal. Open a business bank account with them, okay? Um, let's see. Go into... Bank of America, open a business bank account with them. Go into Chase, open a business bank account with them. Um, we have regions in my area here. Open a business bank account. Truest, guys, open a business bank account. Physically go into the bank, okay? It makes a hell of a lot of difference, guys. Get personal, okay? Ask for the banking, um, the business relations manager. Ask for them, guys. Um, don't sleep on credit unions either, okay? If you have credit unions in your area, go there, guys. Ask. I just went to the credit union of Georgia the other day. Um, I'm supposed to meet with the, the business um, manager there, guys. Go. Meet those people, guys. They have information sometimes that is not posted on the website, okay? And one thing that is crucial when you are building um, your relationship with the banks Think about how the banks make money, guys. They make money from deposits, okay? Every time someone deposits, you know, a dollar in there, guys, they're able to um, give out loans to other people and other to make money. Um, think about it. Every time you swipe that credit card, guys, they're making money. So they want you to have those financial products, okay? So go in there. Even if you don't have great credit, guys, and I want you to get rid of that limited thinking, okay, I don't have great credit. They're not even going to give it to me. Nah, I still go in there. Go in there like you are an entrepreneur. You're a successful entrepreneur. The fact that you've started a business tells me that you want more for your life. Go in there with some confidence, dress nice, look clean, smell good. Go in there and ask for the business manager, okay? Meet with them, sit down with them. Tell them you want to open a business bank account. They will probably open one with you that very day. Open an account and start depositing money in there, guys. If you can put a large sum of money in there, if you have a few thousand dollars that you can deposit, deposit it, guys, and let it sit for some time, okay? Let it marinate, okay? I like for it to, to sit there about 30 days, 60 days, 90 days if you can, okay? Without touching it, guys. And then every week, make deposits, $25, $100, $200, how much ever you can afford. Deposits are a big deal to banks, guys. They for every $1 that you put in there, guys, they can double that, triple that a hundred times. 
they can be able they, it allows them to loan thousands of dollars to others okay so that they too can keep their bank their bank is a business okay look at it from that perspective okay play by those rules guys and you will win every single time talk to the business manager ask them um, I have a small business. I'm looking for for um, your good, you know, credit products. What do you have available? They can tell you about lines of credit, guys. Getting personal with that manager, guys, it could probably be the difference from you getting, let's say, a 20% interest rate to maybe a 15% interest rate, okay? It helps to lower your interest rates, okay? Um, and your loan terms. Even the fees that they charge, guys, you can be able to negotiate those things when you sit down with um, someone face to face. Now, this also happened to me too um, with Chase Bank, guys. I went in there, I was looking to get the Chase Inc. Um, Unlimited, which is what I have now, guys. And because I go into the bank and they know me, guys, one of the, the, the managers of the bank, guys, they call me and I, my credit limit on that card, guys, is $20,000, you know? Who knows? If I would have just done it online without any personal interaction, they probably would have given me like five or 10K or something like that. But it makes a hell of a lot of difference when you go in and you talk to them and you get personal with them and you tell them what your needs are um, for your business. Sometimes they... Yeah, guys, so here's, here's this strategy that I've used. Um, you can use this strategy as well. This is not financial advice, okay? Not at all. <laughs> this is only for educational and entertainment purposes. I'm not a financial advisor, but this technique has worked for me and I'm still using it till today's date, okay? Um, if you're an OG of this channel, you know that there's this video where I did, where I share when I got my um, gold card, right? And I became a part of the American Express family. I was, you know, I'm now in that ecosystem. So um, I opened a business checking account with them, which is my favorite business checking account by far. Okay. I deposited $5,000 in that account. Um, I let it sit for some time, guys. Um, American Express at the time had a special going where if you keep the money in there for um, 60 days, they then give you, I believe it was $400. It was either three or $400, I don't know. But they would give you um, that money if you kept it in there for 60 days. Also, they would pay you 1.1% on the balance of your money, okay? So that's what I did, guys. I got the money, and then I went to Chase, guys, okay? I opened a business checking with Chase. They, too, you know, they're like big competitors, okay? They're always neck and neck. So then I opened a business checking with Chase, guys. I went into the bank, physically went into the bank um, down the street from my house here. Guys, I established a relationship with them. Um, deposit it, transfer that money into that account, guys, let it sit. And then um, Chase also paid me $300, okay? And now I'm looking for another bank, okay? So guys do that, okay? While that money was sitting there, guys, they were offering me uh, business credit cards, okay? I was able to get the Chase Inc. Unlimited um, with a $20,000 um, limit. With American Express, I got their business platinum. Um, now I'm about to get the blue cash, okay? Um, and I'm also looking for another bank, guys. With relationship banking, you, you can definitely cheat, okay? This is not the relationship where you want to be monogamous, you want to be, nah, slang that ish everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> if you get the gist, okay? So... That's the way, guys, that's the technique, okay? Establish banking relationships, okay? I think my next bank, guys, I'm either gonna try, I'm gonna go to Truist and I'm gonna check out Regents, those two banks, okay? Um, Cause they're um, around here in the neighborhood. But yeah, guys, 
check out your, your local banks, your local credit unions. Don't sleep on them either, okay? Yeah, so Truist, Regions, and um, um, Credit Union of Georgia. Those are the three banks that I'm about to, um, yeah, hook up with next, okay? So yeah, guys, that's my, that's my technique. Feel free to use it. Um, it has been really helpful. It has been um, really good for business, for business credit and business funding. Yeah, so feel free to use it, okay? That does it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I want to shout out each and every one of you guys that have purchased the Six Figure Entrepreneur Guide to Business Credit, okay? Guys, my first ebook, guys, I put everything in that book concerning business credit. Thank you to all of you guys who have ordered, okay? And if you have not ordered, get your copy at www.adeholistic.com, okay? I have placed it in the description down below. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. Hit the like button, okay? I don't know if it's over here or over there. Whatever, hit the like button, okay? Thank you guys for watching. I will catch you on the next video. Bye.